Okay, cleaning the 20 long and want to uh, always check on the, oh, haha, <laughs> they're sun kissed. Sometimes she gets in here, the pleck, I was trying to get the plecos out. Oh, there's one. Can we count? Can we count? There's sand in here. Two, three, come on, should be one more. There's always a stubborn one. Look at him. Oh, I had done last long. There should be one more. Oh, was that the third one? Fourth one? Yep, yep, yep. Look at him, he's so pretty. Don't get to see them. Ah, there, he just came out. He just came out. Don't get to see them very often, but I always want to check on them when I am. They're like, put our stuff back down. These are Queen Arabesque. L260. They're like, where's our log? You took it away. <laughs> I'm not trying to mess with them. I just want to check on them and be sure you don't really see them very often. And I just want to be sure they're okay. So, yeah, there they are. Look at them. They're like, where's our stuff? Give us our home back. Need to see them. For a change. Usually they run to the back. Well, usually the lights are off about now. It is like 10 o'clock at night. So the lights are not normally on. But I'm cleaning tanks, so lights are on. They're like, where's our home? Put our log down. Okay. I'm just kind of anxious to see them. You don't get to see them very often. But I think it's good they have to come out occasionally. How cool. Oh my goodness. Normally they like run and hide. There's one under there. Okay, well, I need to get on with cleaning. Get on with cleaning. So we'll see. They'll probably go back in their little hut once they realize I put it down. I need to get, get on with the cleaning. I turned off the 
hang on back. Yep, there we go. We're finding it. Yep. All right. Well, we got to clean this. We still got to clean. We're only getting started. And then it's going to be all messy because it's going to be all stirred up. But this is our 20 gallon long tank with our nano fish. So there's everybody. These are green neon tetras. The really little ones with the orange on them are exclamation point resboras. There's some pseudomugles and there's just a couple of thread fins left. Not many thread fin rainbows left. Bunches of ram's horn snails my female bed of sun kissed is back there. I don't know. She, I don't know. She doesn't look happy. Anyhow, we gotta clean this mess up. We gotta clean the mess up. Usually, sun kissed is in the um. Yeah, usually she's in this little home right here. But, uh, yeah, I'd rather sit here and film than clean, but we need to get to it. So, otherwise we're never going to get done. And we need to turn our lights out for the evening. Yep, Sunkissed, um, sometimes she lives in this thing. Yep, see, she just went in. She, she'll stay in that, I guess you call log. It's like a fake log. Um... She likes it in there, but she also likes to go in this other thing. I can't remember what this thing's called. And that's where she seems to spend a lot of her time, but she knows when I feed the plecos, because the plecos stay in this log, so I drop their food over here when, it's, when the lights are out. And she is very savvy to come and get pleco food. She probably gets too much protein because this type of pleco eats a lot of protein. Anyway, so those are my Queen Arabesque plecos. They are from Tom at TM Aquatics. And I am just still so excited to have them even though I don't see them very often. So that's what's going on. We'll talk to you later.